Okay, so we were able to meet the targets for both GTII and FNGR. One of these stickers is forming a bullish formation in a critical time frame that can lead to a potential upside. Let's pop open the hood to gain the higher probability moves for tomorrow's trading session. Welcome back to the channel on this hump day Wednesday. This is Arca and let's dive into the charts. Let's kill them, team. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. Please do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Do everything necessary to get this thing to live long, thrive, and survive. Let's go ahead and take a look at FNGR here on the 12-hour time frame where you're noticing that the charts are showing some interesting formations in here within the 12-hour time frame. Now, if we actually dive into GTII here, you're going to notice that we also met the targets to the downside on this one. We were speaking of a potential consolidation phase between the 1583 to 1698. And you're also going to notice that, notice <laughs> that we had a backup target to the downside here in case uh, we were to, in case we were to fail this uh, consolidation zone right so that bottom side target is 1294 to 1497 back into the targets of which we were in just around a few weeks ago so please know that i am absolutely still looking at the charts and i'm uh, and i'm actually still trying to keep uh, an eye over what's happening here in the present price action right but if we take a look at the immediate short term time frame we do have a little bit of you know these long wicks towards the downside they usually indicate a potential continuation towards an upside but we have to be careful with this because i mean guys it's just uh it, it is continuing to fall to the uh, it's continuing to fall here it's creating lower lows so that usually indicates a continuation of lower lows right so that would you know th this is converting this uh, area of support you can see we were supporting right even in here supporting 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 now we failed it and now we're resisting 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 right so this usually means that there could be a continuation to the downside this also looks like a little bit like a bear flag here which could indicate a continuation to the downside it's especially into this zone here right so if there is continuation of course we're going to look at the bottom side wick here from today's low at around 14 14 but there is that continuation down to this level of, of about 12.94 if it distributes fast enough then there could be a secondary touch to that 12 cent zone yet again okay so this is i mean and honestly speaking th this is actually building a little bit of a bearish formation here it's building a little bit of a bearish formation within the within the hourly actually the three hour time frame uh just around like like this here right so it looks like it has a little bit of a head and shoulders formation here which could present some pretty uh disgusting targets that of which are you know consistent to the ones that that i spoke about already before you know down and I, I hate to say them right 970 to around 10 uh cents so let's just try to let's try to maintain uh, uh some composure here make sure to uh manage your risk management properly and we'll be able to move forward okay team yeah and then uh that paired with the uh, fact that we're converting some of these moving averages here into resistance then th this this could be giving us a little bit of uh of pressure towards the downside okay so please be careful with this as uh we have major time frames now with uh with uh for uh, with uh, moving averages right above us so let's go ahead and take a look at fngr now team and uh yeah so we were able to notice that we were going to meet an upside target right in here around the 358 to 364 of which we reached a high of 358 right so now the bottom side this was the concentrated zone that we spoke of during last night's market prep 330 to 333 as you can see uh we ended up uh moving just below that into the bottom side of our overall range which was the 24 and we ended up closing that 12 hour candle within the within the time uh within the price range that we were already looking for right so and then the next 12 hour candle here to close the day entirely into the post market ended up opening right where we uh we're focusing the range from and bounce to the upside of course this is going to be presenting a little bit of consolidation within this area here especially in the immediate short-term time frame like five to 30 minute time frames and then there could be a continuation but if we start kind of uh, uh pulling this back just a little bit here maybe the four hour time frame we're gonna start noticing the structure of kind of like a, a little I, I gotta point i gotta point it out right because just in case psychology uh you know suggests that there is a potential inverse head and shoulders in this uh area here 
right? So now if if that is uh, truly the case and we have a consistency, then the head and shoulders line would be right here, the neckline, right? So we can measure that, uh, that you know, that price potential. So that would be, uh, you know, your, your, your price movement would actually lead to this uh, top side of around 394 almost perfectly. Now, it doesn't show, it, it's not perfectly that formation. It is within an eight-hour time frame, which is something I do like. It is an upper bound uh, time frame, so which gives it a better strike rate, but it still is not consistent to continuation for that upside, okay? I, another thing that I am liking here is the fact that we printed this hammer candle after a downtrend, right? Usually when you print these hammer candles with this type of body structure right here, usually indicates that there was not enough uh, bear strength, so the bulls took over and brought it back up. So that paired with a downside on trend usually indicates that there is a continuation to the upside now that we got this downside also notice that the volume profile is declining especially below that moving average right so that is showing us that the bear strength is diminishing just i mean it's diminishing here little by little especially since we're looking at this within the eight hour time frame right so now let's go ahead and go into uh, some granular levels here and this is going to be your hourly time frame. Let's go ahead and keep the, the uh, drawings up here so that we can see how we're doing consistent to those drawings, right? Let me, let me pull up the uh, moving averages as well and see how we're doing. Okay, so these are actually the, uh, those are actually the dark A's. Let me pull up my regular moving averages. That's going to be ABT averages, right? So let's see what it's got for us right over here. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we're actually in the hourly time frame. We're resisting from that SMA 200 right now. It I like the fact that the moving averages of specifically the 50 period, which is this teal line, and the purple SMA 200 are pivoted towards the upside, which means that if we are getting some of this like upside price action that we're talking about, there could be a golden cross here starting in the immediate short, like around the hourly time frame. I think the 30 minute. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the 30 minute already got it, but I don't like it when we get it uh, with a slightly downside pivot. You know, this is the 200 purple line. It's kind of it was it was it, it is sideways, but it's still kind of favoring the downside. I like it when we make golden crosses with upside pivots, right? So it, it, with an upside bias, so that that really marks off a very bullish crossover, and then there and then there could be continuation of price action especially into the upper bounds right so yeah i, I think uh, let me look at a uh, volatility versus momentum here at least in the immediate short term time frame see if there's uh, any type of a uh, wow so we definitely have upside continuation here even from the immediate short term so we're just going to have to go ahead and kind of see the uh, immediate short resistances in order for us to determine any type of pullback here for opportunities, right? Price action sitting at $3.40 in the post market. There could be a touch of around $3.48 before pulling back into the zone here once again of about $3.33 to $3.30. And that's already kind of a big range. And this would essentially continue on to the upside as it is set in a pretty bullish formation here starting from the 30-minute uh, hourly, buy hourly, buy hourly into the three-hour. So heads up with this, right? There is also a little bit of a bearish formation here, but I believe that this uh, bottom side here of around 325 already figured this bearish formation, okay? So that could have been the end of that downside there, and there also could be here a uh, continuation to the upside. Usually when you start to see these, uh, you know, these, these, uh, sideways formations like this like potential you know the, the head and shoulders that we're looking at that usually presents a bullish outlook to the asset and it could be retracing here to give our uh, to give us a little bit back from what we have lost okay so heads up on those targets upper bound targets you already know them the more reliable resistances would actually land between 358 and 364 yes i do have that target of around 393 but that would be something of uh, i would say a couple days of effort if that okay i'd say maybe uh two to three days effort all right you guys so if any questions at all please reach out to me remember that i am now consolidating my 19 week master uh, master's course mentorship program for beginners traders i've consolidated that to a four to five week program so go ahead and get in touch with me at arcmasters course at gmail.com and i'll go ahead and send you the disclaimer and the syllabus and we'll get this thing rolling for you all right team thank you so much for coming on by make sure to join the arca bulls trading team with the link in the description below and i shall see you soon please take whatever i do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as i cannot suggest for you to buy sell or hold any assets whatsoever i need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool cool but with that said team i wish you well a very very good rest of your day and or night and i will catch you at the bell manana 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 manana
Adios, team. Oh, yeah.